Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Jolene Marks, still down under in Australia, in Sydney, making my way home in a few hours back to Israel. And uh, at this juncture, before we get into the headlines, I just want to thank the president of WITO Australia, Paulette Cherney, and the extraordinary, extraordinary ladies all across the country, from Melbourne to Adelaide, Brisbane to Perth and to Sydney, for hosting me and showing me the most incredible time, and not to forget a very special koala named Fred. So let's take a look at the major news headlines happening in Israel, and um, authorities are starting to investigate a lot of the fires that occurred across the country this past weekend. Uh, there were at least a thousand fires I mean, it's, it's, it's inconceivable in a, a strip of land smaller than the Kruger National Park in South Africa. A thousand fires across the state of Israel over the weekend. Uh, some of them in the south, which are being investigated as uh, perhaps arson terror all across the country. Uh, a fire in Svat, in the northern city of Svat, claiming the life of a small child. And uh, very famously, the settlement or the little yeshuv of Mevo Modi M, just outside Modi N, where I live, that uh, has been almost completely decimated. Some 50 out of 60 homes destroyed. Thank goodness, no casualties. Uh, people were managed to be evacuated uh, in time. And now authorities are beginning their investigations. Uh, was it arson terror? Was it as a result of extremely hot weather, temperatures reaching uh, 47 degrees in Modi in just at, uh, at the end of last week? Uh, is it a, as a result of Lagba Omer, the festival where very, very famously bonfires are burnt, perhaps they got out of control? Uh, and also in Mevo Modi M, authorities are investigating possible arson because it has been found that fires started in multiple points. And uh, Netanyahu has thanked countries like Italy, Croatia, Greece and Egypt for sending help uh, to help put out the fires, uh, Cyprus as well. But uh, it has been a very, very difficult weekend for Israelis. Uh, uh, just yesterday, news coming to me in Australia just from outside Modi in saying that there were more fires uh, creeping forward. Thank goodness uh, they have been put out. But uh, my thoughts, my prayers and uh, my love to everybody across the country from the north to the south who have been affected by fires across the state of Israel. Now, uh, let's look at what's happening in the government. And uh, Netanyahu is fast running out of time to form his new coalition. He would like to form a more right-wing coalition. He's struggling to do this. He has called all party members uh, to meetings. And uh, is Avigdor Lieberman the man that's going to perhaps try and push us towards another election in a very short space in time? Avigdor Lieberman, the head of the Israel Bitenu party, not uh, arriving for his meetings. And it is uh, estimated that uh, if Netanyahu does not form a government, uh, either Reuven Rivlin will tap somebody else to, in this case Benny Gantz, or uh, we're going to have to go to snap elections, which is what the Likud would prefer. But a um, major deciding factor is uh, what happens with the ultra-Orthodox and the conscription to the RDF. That seems to be uh, creating squabbles amongst party leaders. And uh, who knows, we could be heading to the polls pretty soon. It's Game of Thrones. Israel style and our last story takes us to Germany now yesterday news headlines out of Germany making major papers around the world including Deutsche Welle was that the minister in charge of combating anti-semitism has recommended that uh, Jewish men who wear uh, kippot or yarmulkes perhaps don't wear them in certain parts of the country and President Reuven Rivlin on a visit to Berlin uh, in Germany, uh, uh, making a point of being photographed wearing his kippah, said that uh, he really recommends that uh, Germany does not follow a policy of defeatist politics, but rather stands up and fights 
against rising anti-Semitism. So those are your top stories for the day. You can check out our online content at www.layoftheland.online. You can read Dave Kaplan's article all about how two young Israeli women are helping the people of Uganda uh, get fresh water. It's a very, very moving article. And uh, you can also join our Facebook family at Lottel's site. We are growing daily. Make sure you're a part of it. And don't forget that you can click on the subscribe button below to receive your daily edition of the Israel Brief. So I am a rather exhausted Rolene after a phenomenal tour of Australia, which comes just after my incredible visit to uh, Miami, Florida, to Rita USA's conference. Uh, it's all been very, very exciting, and I will speak to you tomorrow sometime Israeli time, but in the meantime, I'll be having a good sleep on my flight home. Here's wishing you a, a good rest of your day. I'm Raleen Marks for the Israel Brief.